Hey guys, it's Gojo here, and I'm back again, yet again, with another World of Tanks replay. And today you will be watching me in the T20. Uh, this is actually the first game I ever played in the T20. Uh, I think I used 3 XP to get it fully upgraded. Now, I'd heard this tank was not very good. And I was really not sure whether I wanted to play it and uh, go down that pattern line. Well, it turns out I do because I do like this thing. But yeah, this is my first game in it. Uh, we are on airfield and we are top tier in a cheeky bit of uh, 5 10 matchmaking. <coughs> and it's pretty quick as well. So I'm going to move up towards the normal light tank position up on this little hill. And I like to park up here to get early shots on people that are either crossing up here, coming down here, or coming up round onto this bit of hill, or up round here. And I've not spotted anything yet, and I've noticed that the Leo and the Rudy are going there. And there's a few people spotted over here. I use the bushes, try and track that to Type 64 again, which I do. Um, not got sit sense on this tank yet. Or do I? No, I don't think so. Take out the Type 64. I see the T-34-100 over in the distance. I'm trying to spot this T-20. Maybe the Hellcat again. And bounce the Hellcat. A shot down range of the T-34-100. It manages to connect. Uh, I was trying to bait a shot from this Hellcat. And I think, well, I kind of angle against him. He only bounced 115 millimeter, uh, 115 millimeters, 115 uh, damage. Um, so he's got a small dick gun, a uh, little small dick Hellcat. Take a blind shot into the T20, uh, and now that Leo's run away. The Rudy died, and this Black Prince is tracked and getting fucked. To be honest, oh, a snapshot into the ARL. I don't know if he was expecting me or not to come out. He looked like he was aimed at me, but he didn't shoot. Must have the reaction times of an old person. <coughs> I noticed this tiger's coming, and it's the saddest thing you've ever seen in your life. I'm going to pause it in a second and tell you why it's the saddest thing you've ever seen in your life. Look at that little gun shooting up at you. Look at his little face. The little face of this tiger two, of this tiger one. Look at that little shitty turret he's got. The shitty little gun he's got. Look at the fourteen hundred HP he's got. For this tiger one is stock. Call in today and please donate as much as you can to help save this poor tiger one. The saddest thing in this world is a stock Tiger One. Please do your best and help as much as you can for our poor friend here, Cassiano. Please help. Thank you. But anyway, back with the replay and I'm going to farm him to within an inch of his life. So I'm getting spotted on him here as well. Managed to dodge the shot. Put one in. I was expecting the T21 or somebody to put some more shots into him. Maybe the SU100. Another shot into him. Uh, there's the T20. I'm deciding. Do I kill the Tiger? Do I shoot the T20? I'm trying to track the T20. Didn't reload in time. Alright, I'll kill the Tiger. Ah, uh, what? Two, 2.31. I roll for 2.31 and it's 2.40 average. I was meant to kill him. <laughs> Seeing if I get spots on that T20, didn't. The SU-100 wipes out, completely obliterates that Churchill 7. Um, <coughs> the IRL just took out the E25, so I know he's not looking this way. Come around, take him out. Take a shot from the Jagdpanzer 4, get around him. I know I'm not going to be able to one-shot him. Ow, I will. I definitely will now. Um, 
And I'll notice the Nasorn and the IKV up there as well as T-34. Little shot on the Nasorn. Look at that. I have literally an inch of him showing. A little pixie dick inch of that Nasorn. The T-20 is renowned for not having... Renowned? Oh my god, English. Is renowned, rather, for not having a very accurate gun. So yeah, you can see why I celebrated like this when I hit him. <laughs> um, to be honest, that's probably one in a million shot. That was absolutely nutty. I'm spotting, double bushing on that T-34. Uh, trying to just remain unspotted at this point, so the enemy doesn't know that I'm still up here. I take him out. Yeah, managed to take him out. And at this point I'm thinking, right, I'm going to go for that Nasson. I should be able to one-shot him. Then I should be able to get around that IKV and just embarrass him. Because the mobility on the T20 is absolutely fantastic. Um, 56 km an hour top speed. The traverse is pretty nutty as well. For some reason I decided to try and snipe. Uh, and I missed that one. I'm waiting for him to pull back behind the ridge. I was thinking that Nassim was going to pop out. Then he does right as I start to move. The IKV is moving as well. I'm thinking, right, I need to... Get behind this cliff. Get behind this cliff. I was considering taking a shot on the move there, but it was an HE shot and it probably wouldn't have hit. <coughs> the Churchill 7 invited me to a platoon. That surprise was an arms right there. I missed the shot on the IKV. I was hoping I'd be able to hit him and pen him uh, with HE because those things were easy to pen with HE. Take a shot from the Nassau. That's alright, I've got enough health to spare. He gets wiped out from the 225 AT. This IKV is not looking at me, he takes it at the issue 100 Y, and I can kill him. <laughs> the Churchill's complaining about the uh, about the speed of the Churchill 7. He's complaining to Wargaming. Artie hits me for some reason when he's about to get molested. He's getting completely surrounded. I know, I'll shoot at that guy miles away. Just because I got 5 kills, nice memes. I had a little glimmer of a shot on him there, didn't take it. Uh, the Agpanzer IV is coming around to clear him up. The VK takes out, take, takes out the type, and the Agpanzer gets the Hummel. So there we go, that was my first game in the T20. I got five kills, uh, got brothers in arms obviously, because I platooned with that Churchill, cheeky cheeky. 3.3k uh, damage. <coughs> Pretty nice. Uh, didn't do much spotting. I was hoping to do a bit more spotting from that position I took early on, up in E5. But you know, I'll take it. Um, yeah, just a very nice game in the T20. And the team didn't do too badly either, to be honest. So, yeah, let's go and look at the post battle results. Take a look at them.